More and more Vancouver Island kids are being treated at BC Children's Hospital, but there's a way you can help with a new fundraising campaign that kicked off this month. The tip tap machines are at all seven country grocery locations, and as Tess Van Stratton tells us in this week's Vital People, it's just one of the many ways Country Grocer is helping to make a difference. Hot dogs sizzle on the barbecue at this summer fundraiser for the mustard seed. It's just one of the many ways Country Grocer gives back to the community. I think that's a big part of what we do. We're um, definitely involved in the community and we like to help out where we can and spread ourselves around to various charities. And um, I think it's near and dear to everyone's heart. Just call. Thank you very much. The family-owned and operated island company donates hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, supporting a wide variety of causes. We are a big part of the community. Uh, it's where people shop. It's where they come spend their hard-earned money. And it's just part of who we are. We like to give back. Craig is the third generation to work in the family business and grew up seeing that commitment to the community. Our parents and grandparents always were huge proponents of giving back and being involved in the community because um, what you put out there you get back as well. Uh, so it's a very easy thing to do. And now it's as easy as a tap to make a donation to BC Children's Hospital at these tip-tap kiosks in all seven country grocer locations. Five, ten, twenty dollars. They can choose the amount that's best for them. And that money just comes right off their credit card. The donation goes directly to BC Children's Hospital. Country Grocer is part of the pilot for the tip-tap campaign, which kicked off this month. And BC Children's Hospital Foundation is hoping it will help increase donations as more and more island children need to travel to Vancouver for treatment. Two years ago in 2020, there was over 3,600 kids from Vancouver Island that were treated at BC Children's Hospital. Break that down, that's over 10 per day. Last year in 2021, that was over 5,100. We're up to over 14 kids per day. For staff here, knowing they're helping island families with this and other causes is a win-win. You come in, you do your job, and, and that's one end, but I think the bigger picture of the community, um, it's important to, to be involved, and if you're in position to give back, I think it's nice to give back. Coming out of COVID especially, right? Uh, there's a lot going on right now, so giving back is an easy way to feel good and hopefully help others feel good too. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.